Hi everyone, I'm Chrissy or Topher, and I'm also known as Chrissy Foley Art, and I decided to make another video. So when I was recording, um, I didn't really know what this video would be. Uh, I recorded a bunch of different things I did in a week and just was trying to see what was the best footage I had. Um, honestly, I had no clue what to do. Um, so it was kind of just me throwing something at the wall and seeing what would stick. And for this canvas, I was between two ideas, either doing a disco ball, which I've seen many people do before, or a plate of food, and I knew I wanted to have eggs on it. I've done an alcohol marker and colored pencil drawing of an egg, and I loved the way it turned out, so I knew I could do it, um, but paint was going to be a little bit different, especially acrylic. And here you see me working on those blueberries. I'm just using the blue tree out of the tube. And in the next clip, you'll see how I lightened it and darkened it, like added those shadows and highlights to it right about now. Um, and I also had done the egg yolks, which was pretty easy. It was just yellow and adding, again, yellow and highlights to it, um, trying to figure out where I wanted those highlights to be. Um, it was kind of coming from the right upper corner, if that made sense. Um, and here I'm just outlining the egg to add that, like, crispness to it. You know how, like, the eggs have that... I don't know how to, how to explain it. I'm vegan, so I don't really know. And if you actually look close in the back, you can see I'm watching um, The Sims 4 gameplay. I don't even know what video this was that I was watching. I just go through phases where it's like, I love watching The Sims 4 gameplay or like any Sims gameplay. And it's, it's just so entertaining. I don't, I don't understand why it's so entertaining. But as you can see here, I'm adding like a lighter version of that darker brown. I would say it's like a brown. Um, so I'm just adding those lighter colors all throughout because I don't want it to be stark white. I'm using that same color essentially that I used for the outer edge of the egg to do the bread. Um, as you can see here, my arm is blocking most of it. It's very hard to film. I probably should have filmed from the other side of me, but there's not really room there. So I'd have to kind of move my desk out, which maybe I should do that. Also, I just want to talk a little bit about how, like, grateful and shocked I am over, like, how well-received my last video was. I was expecting maybe, like, five of my friends to see it, and that would be it. But, I don't know, a lot of people ended up seeing it. I, you know, met some mutuals now because of it, and it's honestly amazing. Like, I was not expecting to, like, post on YouTube and, like, anyone watch, so even the fact that, like, people that aren't my friends are watching it's just like it it blows my mind it it's such a interesting platform I will say I really do plan on making more videos in the future um, if you have any suggestions let me know but it's probably gonna be in the same realm of painting and sketchbook and probably a little bit of just behind the scenes of what my process looks like and running my Etsy and things like that and a major time skip. Um, I guess I just forgot to film most of the pink until I got to this last bit where I was going in between the foods, which was a little bit harder to do. Um, I kind of left some whites, I would say, around the edges, which I kind of like that look. Um, but I got in as close as possible with the pink. Also, you know it's getting serious when I roll my sleeves up when I'm painting. Um, sometimes I can do without it, and I literally don't care. But when I'm getting into those details, I get very stressed. The sleeves go up. I'm squinting. I'm doing everything possible. I've got so much to tell you. Like how you made me feel so
right now I'm going to be working on the actual toast, um, the avocado toast part of it. I just took some green and maybe some white. I th yeah, it was white there. And decided, you know what, instead of using a paintbrush, I'm going to use a fork. I'm going to make this fun. Um, and I kind of just wanted to replicate, I guess, the mashing that you typically do on avocado toast. And it kind of turned out decent. It was interesting. I The texture wasn't perfect to, you know, real life. It was a little, you know, not there. But I do like the way it turned out. And I just wanted to note, yes, I did paint the sides of this canvas black. I think it makes it pop so much more. I'm so glad that I did that. And as I'm finishing up this painting, I just want to say thank you for watching if you made it to this point in the video. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Etsy, Patreon, and more. Um, all that will be linked in the description. And as I move forward in the next clips, it's going to show the final piece and also some varnishing. So keep on watching. Is that okay? I can listen to you.